In this video, I'm unboxing the new 35th anniversary Ghostbusters Funko Pops plus the new Firehouse Pop Town. So stay tuned! What's up guys? I'm Ritz. Welcome to my channel, Quick Collectibles. I'm so excited. We're unboxing the 35th anniversary Ghostbusters Funko Pops today. I think these are just so awesome and I've been waiting all year for these to come out. So as always, straight into it. Here we go. So excited. This is the first out of the box. We've got Peter Venkman. And we've got Winston. Next we've got Scary Library Ghost. And we have got Ray. And of course we have also got oh, Egon. And the last out of the box, and I think I'm most excited about this, uh, is the Pop Town Peter Venkman with Firehouse. Can't wait to get this out of the box. First up we've got the Scary Library Ghost out of the box and I absolutely love this pop. Their level of detail and the way that they've done the floating body and the hair just look incredible. I love that it is translucent, it's got a very slight gradation into the actual body itself. And the same with the hair, it goes from white to clear and it just looks incredible. Great, great job on this design and I absolutely love it. Alright guys, next up we've got Winston out of the box and I absolutely love the little details that they've put into this. On his face we've got the moustache, we've even got his little frown wrinkle line on the top there in grey. The hair looks really great, we've got the logo patch on the arm, again the proton pack, the detail on that is really well done. I absolutely love this Funko Pop, however the head is smaller than the other Funko Pops so I'm not sure what happened there. Alright guys, next up we've got Peter Bankman out of the box, and again the level of detail on those proton packs is definitely the highlight I think of all of these Funko Pops. However, even though the pose is the same, there are slight differences in the way the actual gun piece is being held, and that's really nice to see that they've put a little bit more thought into that. So the bodies are not all the same mould. Again we've got the arm patch, and I love that they did a receding hairline for Peter, I think they did a, such a great job with this. And we've got Ray out of the box. And I love that they did him with the goggles on top of his head. They look fantastic. They've got the frown lines on his head with a little bit of paint there. And of course he's holding a closed trap, which just looks so awesome. It's great that they've included one figure with the trap. I think that really just adds to that whole feel of that first Ghostbusters film. And I absolutely love this Funko Pop. Again, great detail on the proton pack there on the back. And he does also have his name tag. Alright guys, next up we've got Egon out of the box, and I love the way that they've done the shiny paint with the black shoes and the gloves, which is a really nice contrast to the rest of the matte finish on the pop. Again, the gun being held in a very similar position, but it is slightly different, so you get to see slightly different kind of aspects and details on that, which is really great to see. Proton pack's pretty much the same. Again, we've got the patch on the shoulder, and we've got the name tag. The glasses look awesome. They're super-sized, and I absolutely love it. Alright guys, first up out of the double pack we have got Peter Bankman and as you can see he's got the melted marshmallow on him. So this is obviously from the end of the film. I love the way they've got the gun holstered on his belt there. And again they've got details like the burning little bit of char on his face and that. It looks so great. Completely different from the other edition which is nice to see. One thing I don't like is the scale. I feel like he should have been a pocket pop size to keep in scale with the actual firehouse. But apart from that I absolutely love this version of Peter. Last but not least we've got Pop Town Ghostbusters The Firehouse and this is such an awesome pop. Essentially they've taken it and squished it down into a six inch figure and I love how they've got the slime coming out the window there you can see on the right. They've got the flag in the front there above the door with the Ghostbusters logo. We are of course missing that Ghostbusters painted sign that was in the film above the door but yeah, I mean, I can't really see how they could have fit that in looking at the way that they've designed it. I think had they put that in, it really would have elevated this pop. But I absolutely love it. The rooftop is flat, so you can actually display Peter Venkman that comes with it on the top there. 
All right, so I'm obviously still waiting on the 10-inch Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, and both versions are Slimer with Hot Dog, the Normal, and the Translucent. I also would have loved to have seen a Janine Pop, a Goza Pop, and a um, Egon with the Twinkie. That would have been really cool. But overall, these are super awesome. I absolutely love them. Great addition to my Funko Pop collection, and a great addition to my Ghostbusters collection. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the new 35th anniversary Ghostbusters Pops. Make sure to join me on my collecting journey by hitting subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Bye!